Hello and welcome to today's video in which we're going to talk about self-esteem. What it is, the different types, factors that affect it and how to increase it. Self-esteem is feelings, thoughts, and views of oneself that influence one's behavior and actions in the living environment. This is how a person evaluates himself positively or negatively. Self-esteem is not always related to positive things. It could be that someone has low self-esteem and causes himself to lack self-confidence. In short, self-esteem is how you see yourself and how you perceive yourself. Let's start by understanding the types of self-esteem which is divided into two types, healthy self-esteem and low self-esteem. Healthy self-esteem is having a strong and balanced view of yourself. A person with healthy self-esteem usually has realistic expectations for themselves and acknowledges and accepts their strengths and weaknesses. This helps maintain a positive outlook even when expectations are not met. Healthy self-esteem makes it easier for a person to adjust to being accepted by others, form honest relationships, and is more resilient to stress and setbacks. On the other hand, low self-esteem is when a person values the opinions of others more than his own. It can be difficult for them to accept compliments sometimes, as they tend to focus on their perceived weaknesses rather than their strengths. They are also often afraid of failure and believe that others are better than them. People who lack confidence tend to avoid risky things for fear of failure. So, what are the factors that affect self-esteem? There are several factors that affect self-esteem, including the family environment, success, physical appearance, self-confidence, self-expertise, and feedback from friends or others. The family is the first school for children and the main source of identity development. The success of academic achievement or one's aspirations related to one's character plays an important role in forming a positive and healthy self-view. Physical characteristics such as hair, body shape, height, weight, skin color can also affect the way a person evaluates himself. A person with a high level of self-confidence can learn things quickly. Expertise or self-ability is needed to complete the task. The ability to perform tasks or other things affects a person's self-esteem. Positive and negative messages from friends and others can make or break a person's self-esteem. Depends on the person's view. Finally, let's talk about how to increase self-esteem. One way to increase self-esteem is to know yourself because you know yourself best. Identify and write down your 10 weaknesses and 10 strengths, that way you can realize who you are. Another way is to evaluate yourself without comparing it with others. Shifting the emphasis from others to oneself, jealousy of the success of others is common. Everyone has different life goals. When you have found your purpose, and what makes you happy, it will be easier to respect yourself and not compare yourself to other people. Find someone who can appreciate you and motivate you to get back on your feet. Don't spend time with people who only put you in a toxic relationship. Build a good relationship with yourself like an affirmation sentence that helps you to be grateful for small to big things. Take time to socialize with family or close friends. In conclusion, self-esteem is an important aspect of our life. It affects our behavior and actions. Understanding the types of self-esteem, the factors that influence it, and how to increase it can help us lead happier and more fulfilling lives. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.